Hey guys, Dana here with ASL Love, and today I'm going to show you some signs that you can use while shopping. There's four signs that I'm going to base this video on. These signs, I feel, are the most important if you're going to try to be communicating while inside of a store, whether you're the customer or the employee. The signs are have, need, search, and want. So to sign the word have, you're going to take both hands, bend them at the large knuckle, bring them into your chest on either side of your chest. Have. This sign can be negated by shaking your head no, meaning I don't have or we don't have. Not here. So while you're able to ask the question, do you have, an employee can answer by signing, we don't have. Or maybe, yes, we have that. I know that with sign language, when people are learning, they tend to get hung up on the English word order. So I'm often asked, how do you sign do, you, and have? But you don't need to sign all of that. So that's why I'm showing you these four important words. By knowing these words and shaking your head yes, shaking your head no, you can convey the meaning of an entire English sentence. To sign need, take the letter X, move it forward. Need. So by signing the word need, you're saying, I need. Maybe an employee will be asking you, do you need a particular item? And you can sign, yes, I need that, yes. Shake your head, yes. Or, no, that's not what I need. Mm -mm. Want, take your hands out in front of you, both hands. Start with them slightly relaxed, bring them in and turn them into a claw hand shape. Want, this means I want. Now you can negate this sign as well by shaking your head no, also turning your hands palm facing down. Don't want. Want, don't want. The sign for search is the sign that you would use to show that you were looking for something. Take a letter C hand shape, move it in a circular motion in front of your face a few times. Two hands, searching all over, and looking all over for this. Maybe an employee would ask you, what are you looking for? Looking for what? You can then respond by answering, looking for, I'm looking for, and whatever it may be. I think it's also important to mention that learning the alphabet is kind of crucial. If you learn all the letters of the alphabet, then you can spell anything. So if you needed a particular item, you could sign, I'm looking for soda. Of course there's a sign for soda, but if we're just learning sign language, learning a few fundamentals can go a long way. Eventually you will learn the signs for more food items and other retail items. But for now you can sign looking for soda. And now you know a variety of signs that will help you communicate when you're shopping. And I hope that helps.